first heard about the Speed Cobra when I was in Japan and uh, we were playing in Tokyo and Mitch uh, from Hashino, Japan brought this pedal out of nowhere. He just walked up and said, try this. And that's when I saw it for the first time. Uh, the first time that I actually played with a band with this pedal was in was in my rehearsal space. I rehearsed with a band here, my band uh, Lithium Tree, and I just noticed I was getting more power. That was the first thing that I noticed. But it didn't take a minute to adjust to the feel and the footboard. The footboard is longer, but and for some reason I felt like I didn't have to. I didn't have to push the the footboard down as much. Um, to get that impact. So even though it was easier, it was I, did, I didn't have total control over it yet. So uh, by the end of the rehearsal, I started to, to, to feel where that was. And uh, uh, I haven't gone back since. I've been using it ever since. I think once you get used to it, you realize that it actually gives you more control. Um, and it gives you more room, like if you want to play multiple strokes, double strokes or Tri triple strokes. The Speed Cobra footboard is much smoother. So it's easier to use different sliding techniques or pivot, you know, if you if you pivot your foot, like I like to pivot my foot a lot. Like there's there's a there's a way that the, the heel sort of pivots and I push up. And that was also easier to do on the on the uh, speed cobra. The first major difference between the Iron Cobra and the Speed Cobra that I noticed was how easy it was to literally throw the beater against the drum head. Uh, it was, uh, I couldn't believe how much smoother. I mean, the Iron Cobra is a great pedal, but I was really surprised at how, how easy it was to play the, uh, the Speed Speed Cobra. Uh, and. I didn't have to use nearly the same amount of effort to get as, uh, as much power as I get from it. I think it's important to be able to, to get a lot of power out of a pedal without having to work too hard. One of the reasons is when you're playing a show or you know, if you're doing a concert that's like two hours long or three hours long and uh, they're high energy shows or there are parts of the show where you have to you have to really push uh, it's 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 nice to be able to to have that kind of consistency throughout the show without um, without your thigh getting you know sore or you have to worry about pacing yourself um, so it's it's important also for just to be able to play dynamically and also to play soft but still maintain the same amount of energy when you have a pedal where you can keep that intensity, but also play at a soft volume. It still it can still feel powerful, but you're not, you know, you're, you're not you're not uh, full throttle at that point. Another thing I noticed was the beater. Uh, it's a felt beater, and it's it's got this sort of arrowhead, this point. Uh, that I noticed that immediately I got much more attack and more of a focused uh, sound. You could actually uh, turn the beater over, you can just kind of flip it and then you have the more flat portion of it. And you don't really lose any attack, but, but you, it's, it's, like a, it's like a fatter sound. This is probably the first time that I felt that I didn't have to change. I didn't have to use my wood beater or, or put a plastic beater on. One of the other things that I noticed about the Speed Cobra was the amount of rebound I was able to get without 
without uh, without it feeling difficult to press down. Usually, in order to get more rebound, you have to really tweak and and tighten the uh, the spring, and that can make it more difficult to use the pedal to, in order to press down and. and but with the Speed Cobra, I didn't have to do that. And I was able to get a lot of rebound without, without that extra tension of, of having to force the pedal. I didn't feel I had to fight the pedal. The spring is a newly designed spring and there's a lighter material. And that's one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I was able to get more rebound without having to have more tension. The Cobra coil, I think, plays a major role as well, and that was also on the uh, on the Iron Cobra. I had been using the Iron Cobra Power Glide for years, and I picked the the Power Glide because it had an off-center cam, which gave which made the pedal faster, particularly at the end of at the end of a stroke. There was this accelerated impact. It was it was just more velocity. Uh, I like the speed and the feel of that. So I was really surprised when, uh, when, the, when Thomas sent me the uh, Speed Cobra that it was, it was more of a rounded cam, which is more like the roller glide, I think it's called. Um, and the reason why I was surprised because it felt like the off-centered cam. It, it had that same acceleration. Uh, but at the same time, it felt more even. Um, so they were able to use the rounded cam and still have that acceleration and, and, and have it have it more even which is great because again it, it's it makes it a, a very versatile pedal it, it you know you can play all kinds of music it's not just for speed I mean it it's a fast pedal but it's not just for speed it, it's it's very it's very sensitive I recently did a, a recording with a great uh, singer uh, named Mary Gatchel and I used the, the Speed Cobra for that recording. And what I noticed is that I was able to play with intensity at a very low level. Usually when you uh, use a pedal that um, is built for speed, um, it, it can be like a one-dimensional thing. Like it, it, it feels good, it sounds good when you're playing fast or when you're playing loud. But when you're trying to play different kinds of grooves and you're trying to play with dynamics, it's, it's, it's harder to control. With the Speak Over, it was the opposite. It, it was far easier to control. So I was able to go into all these different musical situations with, with a lot of confidence using this pedal.